Today we're going to take this single man and make two more of him. Hello and welcome to an Affinity Revolution tutorial. My name is Ezra Anderson, and today we're going to learn how to clone yourself inside Affinity Photo. If you'd like to follow along with the same images that I'll be using, I've included a download link in the video description. After opening Affinity Photo, the first thing we need to do is stack together the images that we want to use to create this effect. To make a new stack, you can come up to File, New Stack. Now we just need to add the images that we want to combine. I'll press on the Add button, and then select all three of these images and press Open. This effect works best if you use a tripod, but a steady hand can also work because Affinity can automatically align images for us. All we need to do is press OK and Affinity will stack these three photos together and align them. We learn more about stacking and other ways to combine photos in our complete beginner's guide to Affinity Photo, which you can enroll in by clicking on the link down in the video description. For now though, we don't need to worry too much about how stacking works, we just needed Affinity to stack these three images together. Now that Affinity has aligned these images and stacked them, we can ungroup it. To ungroup our stack, we'll come up to the top to Arrange, Ungroup. We now have three separate images that have all been aligned. If I come over here and click on one of the layers and check it off, you can see that we have three separate images. We're now going to add a layer mask to each one of these layers. So with this layer selected, I'll press on the mask icon, and then select the next layer, and press on the mask icon, and then select the last layer, and click on the mask icon. Now I'm going to click on the mask for the top layer, and then press B for my paintbrush. Now I'm going to make sure I'm painting in black and I have 0% hardness, and then I'll paint on this layer mask to remove me from the photo. Now I've removed myself from the top layer. This is exactly the opposite of what I want. I want only myself to be shown from the top layer and everything else to be hidden so the layer beneath it will be revealed. To do this, I'm going to invert the layer mask by pressing Command or Control I, I as in invert. We now have this part of the top layer being shown and the rest of the second layer being shown. To have the third layer appear, we're going to repeat the same process for this second layer. I'm going to click on the layer mask and then paint myself out of this picture. And now I'm going to invert the layer mask by pressing Command or Control I. We have now successfully combined all three of these images. You can continue this process to make as many duplicates of a person as you want.